Well, good morning. It's me. It's COVID time. Yeah. Um, they uh, shut us down at work. So you can see a little shed behind me. I'm out at a spot. Oh, it's 41 degrees. It's the 11th of December. And uh, it's almost 8 o'clock in the morning. But I'm at a spot. It's close to the road that... Um, I marked on my map as, hmm, because I saw stuff on there, and I don't know, it's kind of neat. Um, I just have the simplex with me today. I just want to do a little exploratory searching in this spot because I have my suspicions, but uh, let me turn you around so you can see what I'm looking at. All right, so you see an old crumpled down shack. It's a big pile of aggregate there. There's this shack, which has been blasted all to pieces. But over here, which you can see these on the satellite map, and I'm sure other people who have been in this area longer than me know what this is, but I have my suspicions because it's stuff I've seen on maps. a big gaping hole there. <laughs> There's another one just on the other side. That to me is looks like a shaft. <laughs> so, but of course we're not going to get close to it because uh, well it's got barbed wire and we obey all state laws and that's a closed area. But apparently that's where they throw all the barbed wire. <laughs> But that's the shack here. This looks more like something they set up for, like a blind of some sort, but I don't know. It's pretty rickety construction. <laughs> I don't see square nails in it. But this is full of debris. It's like an oil bottle. A little glass bottle there and a bunch of trash but it's all round nails so it's not too old but I'm more interested in this crumpled down thing yeah I thought I'd just run the simplex over this little area just to see uh, what there is to see probably trash but I'm thinking because of one of the maps I've seen, there is an iron mine out here. And I'm wondering if this is it. Because you can see where there's been a lot of earth moved. And yeah, who knows? So I'm gonna go down a little bit ways of the craziness over here and just to look around and See what there is to see, kind of read the land, look for flat spots. Like there's a depression here, so there could have been a building here. And then there's that old thing right there. Who knows? All right, so we have a solid 52, both directions. I'm saying cartridge. I got away from the uh, the tree of iron. It's just a little too crazy over there. Oh, no. Nope. It's like a bit of wire. Is that copper wire? I'll throw that in the copper bin. Let's take a peek. More of that Mars red soil underneath here. Like I said, today is more just getting out, checking out a little spot on the map, doing some test holes, see if it's worth my while to come back here. I 
that's in the clump. What do we got? In this side. It's in the top. Up. We have an old bullet. All right. <coughs> Funny thing is, let me pick up the camper and I'll show you. Out over that way, just over that ridge, is the relic patch. <laughs> so we're not too far from there too. So it's kind of an interesting location. This whole area is an interesting location. All right, we'll keep going. Okay, not too far from that bullet. There's something in the 40s. Right there. I'm guessing another bullet. Ooh, it's a drop bullet. And that looks like something out of a um, Nagant handgun. Definitely an odd one. I've never had that one before. So I'll add that to the collection. Yes, I keep live rounds because I'm crazy. <laughs> Neat. All right, this target here is in the 60s. It's kind of a bouncy 60. I'm guessing cartridge. Everything hasn't been too deep here so far. So that should be good enough. Oh, it moved. Oops. I think I found it. Yeah, it's just a bullet. Little guy too. Cool. A thirty-two. some old piece of a tool see where it's been hammered down right here <clears throat> who knows this one I'm guessing is a beer can I've already dug a couple <laughs> so hopefully I'm wrong right Bud Light oh, add it to the collection right, another 65 66 let's see what you are we're down here are you something good or something not so good. Oh, that's not it. Nope. Can, uh, can ring. Oh well. All right. Last signal I dug was a rusty Coke can. Like, old tin Coke can. I have no idea what this is. Just like everything else out here. But I'm guessing a bullet. Even better. Look at that. Look at that beauty. That is sweet. I love me good pull tab excitement. All right, so this is coming up as a 91. It's pretty deep. Let me back you up here. Hopefully 
did something good. Hate getting your hopes up high. Oh, oh yeah, look at that. That's really cool. It's a 50 caliber tracer round right there until the back is hollowed out. So that is a cool find. Alrighty, so it's just copper with magnesium on the inside. I'd fire out and make a nice glowy, glowy trail. Oops. That looks like someone had to use the bathroom. All right, let's see if we got another pull tab. Or is it going to be a copper jacket? Is it going to be right there? It's a copper jacket. So what I've been doing is I was looking for possible old trails under this place, and that's kind of what I'm following. You can see how it cuts in, and it goes the same way over there. It kind of takes a turn. So. Just following this and see what's in it. I followed that line, which you can see my finger in there, right along here, all the way out. So, I don't know, just looking for old roads into the place. It's kind of a neat one. Rub it down a little bit. This is Kerr Mason, patent 831.15. Old mason jar lid. I like things with words on it. All right, I just dug a first for me. A Model T valve cap. <sighs> it's a good shape too. And it's got writing on it too. So we'll have to clean that up. We'll have a look at that in the roundup. I like good relics. I knew there'd be something good out here. I know some people are like, ah, oh, it's just a Model T valve cap. That's a big deal for me because it's dating this site. Kind of like that mason jar lid from the patent date of 1915. So, yeah. This is fitting that time frame on the map. Yay! Another spot filled. All right, this is a nice tight signal. It's around the same as that valve cap. I'm just off camera. I have to turn you. There you go. So, is it something good? Or is it trash? Probably trash. But one can hope. It's pretty high to the surface here. You can see how dense as soil is that's a bullet that's why it was nice and tight so a lead bullet copper jacketed it's like another 32. oh well all right it's one of those 90s it's about three points down so who knows what it is hopefully an old penny I just opened up a gopher hole so it could be anything now those voids will come up The target too, which kind of sucks. Unless it's in the sidewall. Nope, it's way in the bottom. 
lot of uh, Vienna sausage tin. Even worse. Area. All right, it's a 54. I think it might be my last target here. Been out here for a couple hours now. It's not that long of a hike from the car. It's just a very trashy spot. And kind of tiresome. Shell. Glasses are fogging up. Looks like 44 Winchester. It's a US round. So it's a military bullet, possibly. Maybe a 45. I have to look at it when I get home. All right. I will detect my way out. If I find anything interesting, I'll let you know. Yeah, that's going to be it. <clears throat> I dug a spill of 45 auto shells and a, looks like a 22 long rifle. Oh well. I do wonder what's across the road and we might have to go there next time. Because what I see is aggregate piles. Sorry, trees. But I do know there is another mine up in that side someplace. And it's probably up that way. <laughs> Playing with the zoom. And that mine was supposed to be a gold mine. So it's kind of odd. Got an iron mine behind me and a gold mine over there. But they do show up on the old uh, ore map. Or I don't know what you call it. Uh... I don't know, I saw it online and it has a little stamp saying iron, copper, gold. And there's one over there that says gold, one back there that says iron, and one way over that way that says, or actually two over that way that say copper. So who knows? But if I go up there, I will bring the gold cruiser. I don't expect to find much because it's played out and I know for a fact there's been, oh, let's see, it shut down in early 1900s. And ever since metal detectors have been invented, that place has been scrubbed hard. It's like most of these places, <laughs> but I'm still finding little goodies here and there. So anyways, I'm gonna set the car. I got a pouch full of trash and a couple good items. And we'll, uh, Try to take a peek at those at the house. Alrighty, I'll catch you in a bit. Okay, I'm back at my house. I've been cleaned up. It's been a few hours and I'm in my garage, obviously. Let's look at the junk. Now, just want to warn you, there isn't much good. But then again, we're just scouting out that area, and the treasure today was finding out what that place was. And it's a mine, and I have some plans for that in the future. All right, so we got aluminum, got steel. That is kind of an interesting piece, but I have no idea. We got that copper wire, piece of plastic, or wire, wire. Ah, plastic shotgun shell. Two beautiful pull tabs. Just a couple nine millimeters, a bunch of splattered lead. 
I came across a 45 spill. There's a bunch more I decided to just walk away. Got that Model T valve stem. I'm gonna try to get some letters off of there in a picture. Uh, it's a 30-30, 30-06, 50 cal tracer. And this guy does not have any markings on the base. So that one's kind of puzzling. I still think it's an Agant pistol, um, but because it definitely looks uh, Russian, could be Tokarev, don't know. Got my little Courier Mason jar lid, patent date 831.15. And this rolled over piece of old tool. So yeah, there we go. That's the, uh, that's the gist of it today. <laughs> So I would have to say the find of the day for me, it's gonna be this guy, because I've never found one. The second best find of the day is gonna be the 50 cal tracer. And the third best find, well, it's gonna be this weird bullet. Uh, this is 30 out six, but it's modern. It's not old at all. This one here though is much older. Yeah, it's like, uh, about to sneeze. I don't know. Anyways, that's what we got. I'm going to get some still pictures of this guy, and I'm going to see if I can get anything off the back of that little uh, strange bullet. But if you got any ideas, let me know. And uh, I'll see you later. So, y'all take care. Good luck out there. Happy hunting. Stay safe. And bye for now. This actually says Schrader, S-C-H-R-A-E-D-E-R, -E -E and then made in USA. Schrader's made, uh, well, pretty much valve stems for the, a very, very long time. So that's pretty cool. And this tracer round is actually completely empty. So it cooked off or burnt completely out. It's all black soot inside there. So that's actually kind of cool. And this may have something on it. Clean it up a bit with a scotch bright. So let's zoom in. And no, it's got nothing. It's got a primer that looks like it was a misfire. Oh, that looks like a number. Looks like a two down there at the bottom of your screen right now. I'm trying anything I can to get anything off this. And from a distance, it looks like it's got writing on it, but it's just all pitting. So yeah, uh, it's a small round. but nothing special like, uh, well here, here's size comparison. That's a small Korean coin. <laughs> That's about uh, a little bit under an inch. So to give you an idea how small this thing is. So, all right, okay, well, have a great day. Bye-bye.